walk your feet together. Keep your hands on your knees and circle. And reverse. And bend. And straighten. Exhaling down, inhale all the way up. Good, and fighting stance, shoot me! Yeah. Double punch, ha-da! Yeah. Go! Yeah. Set! Yeah. Net! Yeah. Hey. 
Drop it down and shuffle back. And And 
dropping your legs about two inches off the floor. Open your legs as wide as they'll go. Toes are pointing inside. Your foot is in a side, side kick blade position. And bring your feet together and then lift. Down, open. Close, lift. Down, open. Close, and lift. Down, open. Close, and lift. And reaching for toes, begin. your chest, inhaling and exhaling. Drop your knees to the left and turn your head to the right. And bring your knees back to center, drop them to the right and turn your head to the left. Forward and hug it in. 
and the other arm forward, all the way back, and press it in. And putting your left arm in the back, gently press down on your elbow to get a deeper stretch. And switch. And coming forward, double wide, push up position on your palms and begin. up on your casual thighs, both arms in front, palm up, and inhale all the way back, moving up to the ceiling, and exhale, turning your palms over, rounding your knee back. One more time, palms up, inhale, and exhale. Good, and fingertip push-ups, and begin. Coming up onto your, uh, into a V, stretch out your calves. Walk your hands back to your ankles, bending, straightening, bend, and straighten. Exhaling down, inhale all the way up. And facing forward, tree up. Tiger one, ready. Turn and face, chunks him in. Turn it up. 
Let's work on footwork. So just do some uh, pushing this kind of weather, right? So fighting stance, Jimmy. Yeah. Okay, shuffling, right? Lighting your feet. Knees bent, as Solomon always says. Not stiff, but right? bent. Balls of the feet. Think basketball player, tennis player, etc. Ready? On the count, backwards, and the next count forwards. Ta-da! Pulls. Set. Net. Tuff. Yuff. 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 You know, out, yo, switch, <coughs> and out, push, set, net, pass, yo, you go, you know, out, yo, switch, <coughs> and one count forward and back. Ready? I'll do here so you can see. Knees back, right? Balls with feet, and out, pull, set, net, pass. Yes. Ella. You know. Out. Go. Switch. Pull. Pull. Set. Net. Pass. Yes. Ella. You know. Out. Go. Switch. Now we're going side to side, right? So it's coming at you. One shuffle. Ready? Hana. Pull. Actually, let's do it back to center. So we're gonna go shuffle, back to center. Other side, back to center. Right. Ready? Hana. And back to center. Pull. Set. Next. Pass. Yes. Look. You know. Out. Yo, and now I'm gonna come attack you. Okay. So let's go that way first. Back to center. Hana! Pull! Set! Net! Tasso! Yoso! Now, same thing. You're gonna do steps aside and two punches. All right, you're gonna be a little bit of angle right to my, right here. All right, ready? And And two punches. One, two. Back to center. Pull! Set! Net! Tasso! Yoso! Okay, so some of the hands here, look how much back, how much more I have to raise. So keep it like this, palms open, right? You're in a defensive position, right? Someone taking a video camera to you won't be like, oh, they're ready to fight. You're just defending yourself, okay? So now I'm gonna come, if this hand comes, you go over there, out of the way, right? If this hand, so I'm not gonna tell you which hand, and I'm not gonna count. I'm just gonna come, like so many attacks do, out of the blue. <laughs> Aha, uh -huh, I got some. So sovereign. Regular. So let's do that slowly. So 45, 
kick at an angle, and then come back, ready. Other side, shuffle back 45, kick, and then back to ready. Okay? So ready. Hana! Okay. And now you're on the other side. Good. Tool! Make sure you re-chamber when you come down. Set! Next! Tasso! Alright, my groin's right here. Right? Open for you. Next! Just the punch, uh, just the kicks. Tasso! Okay, what does Abu say? Like, now pick it up. The, the movement is nice, but it's kind of like, uh, uh, right? Like, I am coming for you. I don't know about you, but I grew up in New York. A lot of, a lot of people who are just mentally unstable right now. So you gotta be able to react right away. Starting over, going that way. Ready? It's the rear leg. The rear leg. Set! I'm gonna like that one. Yes, up! Yes! Some of you don't feel like you want to get out of my way. You know! Aho! Yes. Yo! And, and push up position. Double one. Double one. Just do as much as you can. We're going to do one minute, actually. So once you hit your peak, you can just hold it and focus on strengthening your stomach, your core, which includes not just the front, but the back too. Okay, put all stretch back, stretch out your shoulders. should be more warmed up, so make sure you always focus on the back of the legs too. Stretching it out. Hamstring, calves. Okay, walk your hands in. Rub onto your ankles, bend. Straighten, bend, straighten. And exhale down, and hands can all go up. And open. And shake it out. Okay, and then yeah. So I know Salvin has been working, I think, in person on variations, but I feel like a lot of us have not done these in general. So hang on one second. So number one. So hands up. This is a review. I'm gonna go kind of quickly. Anthony, I think you're our Anthony and Olivia. You might not know these, but everyone else should. But we need to keep it down. So it's gotta be a whisper. Can you have him come? Uh, quiet it down. Thank you. Okay, so hands up, right? So watch. Not here, not too far out, not like this wide. Look how far it has to go. Right, so just here. So okay. here. So watch. If I just go back, that's what happens. So I have to turn. And this has to be a little higher and press down, right? So pressing down. Okay. Actually, hold on. Actually, everyone should watch because it's this. These are details that I think if you're not practicing, you're gonna forget. So watch. So not too far out, not too far close. Not here, not out. Right around here, so you can do this, right? So from here, she's pressing in, and I come off and pressing down. So pressing down, right? Your center, right? And if this is not it. This is asking me stop. So I have control. Then I grab. And then I press in and at an angle. So, so my footwork too. I see a lot of people drag the one all the way around. No, she's giving me very little energy. So I just have to press a little bit down. And then she's gonna naturally contract and I go in, right? Extension, right? Or she pulls in, contraction, 
right? But extension for me, you don't have to do it at all. <laughs> you want to? Sure. Okay. No, no, that's not perfect. <laughs> it's back. Okay. Cool. Right? So can you see me? Let's move back a little. <laughs> so remember, lock this head away from the foot because this, this is what happens, right? So I have to protect myself. Okay. And then press and then finish, right? Do not stab unless you want, a, right? So you are defending yourself. Okay, so you need to create, if someone is there holding the knife, so you need to extension down, then arms are straight. Okay, so higher ranks can go both sides. Okay, okay, begin. Do you wanna, are you looking at the Okay, okay, here. And think smooth. Pretend you move like Savanim, right? Sure. Yeah. Envision yourself moving smoothly, right? Your mind is calm. Okay, put all number two. So two is a straight thrust. Okay, straight thrust can be high, it can be low, right? So the angle doesn't matter, right? So one or two, high or low, doesn't matter. Okay, but the thing is, the difference between one and two is her energy is a lot bigger, right? So this is not this, right? This is she's giving more energy. So I have to extension, extend down. Right, I'm not dragging them. I'm letting her do all the work, right? So it's not like I see some people do this, <laughs> right? No, you want to do as little work as possible. If they're coming at you fast, oh, it's great. I'm using using her energy, right? And then the finish is the same, right? So make sure you control the hand, right? This is really dangerous, so you have to go because this hand is sure to come. So make sure, okay? So I want to tell you one thing. I worked with someone, this was a little while ago, and we hadn't worked together, meaning none of us had been in class for about a year, and like very heavy handed, like a black belt. So when you start working with people again, just realize that you go slow, right? Because uh, these techniques require finesse, and you can actually really hurt someone with these techniques, understand? Okay, number two, it's a big energy thrust, right? Straight thrust. Okay. <laughs> okay, so that's pretty easy. Number three. So number three is the one people are always like, what's the difference? So two is a straight thrust. Three is this, right? So Sabrina talked about like this. This is going up the stomach. And then it pulls back and then the guts open up like a horror movie, right? So it's not just a straight thrust. This is like going up and then pulling back, right? And then everything opens up and the guts fall out, right? Really gross. So that's why, right, we do this, right? We go down, right? So that's why we're not doing this because they're going, the energy is coming up. So I'm gonna down and then grab, okay? So. Go slowly so they can see. Okay. Uh, no, this way. So, so get out of the way. This is the most important thing, the footwork, right? So if you don't have this, this, your hands can be the best hands in the world. You know, the footwork makes the hands work. So, so if I do this, but I don't get my body out of the way, right, game over. So, so most important is getting out of the way. You know, if they cut the wrist, much better than cutting the stomach. Right, so, so this, if you do it hard enough, I'm not gonna do it that hard, but if you do it hard enough, it should drop, right? So we prepared that it doesn't drop and we come over. So what does that look like? Since you can't see through me, right? So from here, getting out of the way and then turning it over, right? So if it's not turned over, bend your arm, right? I need to turn it over. And this is actually a break, but we obviously do not break in class. Elbow should be pointed up, right? And then, Grab, control the knife. I step forward, step forward and reverse. 
Can you see? <laughs> it's hard to see. Okay. So we're not going to do the takedown so they can, we can stay on camera. So again, so get out of the way. Boom. Break the arm. Back leg step forward. Keep the knife down. Right? We're just going to, and then extend. Right? So small circles on the wrist. Right? Okay, number three. So make it real. Someone's in front of you. If you haven't done these in class, make sure you try them in class. Yes. Nice. Okay, pero, number four. Four, four, four. So four everyone should have because it's basic defense. So so I'm gonna so you so watch. What's the most dangerous spot? Right, right here. Right, this is where they're the strongest, push against me. And also what else is coming? Boom, right? So let's go here, so four. I do not wanna be here, <laughs> right? So I need to get to the far, right? So blending, you blend with them, right? You don't stop, right? So go really slow. So I'm gonna go to this shoulder, because look, what's the dangerous thing? Look, hey, what's up, right? So. So I want to, I need my four, especially for shorter people like me, I have to work a lot harder. I have to really get in and then pressing down, right? So I'm not pulling her down. I'm just, her energy is already coming and I'm just redirecting it. So I'm not really dragging it, right? So I'm not like, stop, stop the energy, or press down, right? I don't want to stop it. I want to continue, right? And Think spiraling down, right? So go to that far shoulder, far shoulder here, right? And then, right. Okay, number four. So it should be smooth. Smooth. So I see this a lot uh, from white belt to black belt. So watch. Look at my arms. See this bend? Your energy is not as strong as when it's straighter, right? So sometimes you have to go higher to keep the arms straighter, right? So this is, so everyone, you know, sometimes have you do push-ups and you hold it, and this is much easier to hold, right? So you're stronger with a straighter arm, okay? Like the unbendable arm, they call it. Okay, 30 more seconds. Yes. Less shoulder. Oh. Yes. <laughs> Okay, put all. So I'm giving you what I notice from people and working with people. A lot of people put a lot of tension in their shoulders, right? So you really have to, you cannot move fast if this is all, so tense up your shoulders, now try to throw a punch, right? You just can't do it. So this has to be nice and, has to be like nice and smooth. You know how some, he's like a snake. Okay, number five. So number five is this, right? So same thing, right? This is where she's the strongest, push against me, right? And so height, gravity, weight, she's gonna win. But watch, if I'm here, so at the shoulder, so this is the, this is the door, back door. No, the door, <laughs> go through the door, right, the shoulder, okay? So I don't wanna be here. It's not like stopping her energy and then restarting it, you know? It's on go to the shoulder and coming down, right? So same thing, spiraling down. Don't use the person, use the opponent's energy. The bigger they are, the better it is, right? And the faster they go, the better. Because <laughs> they're going to meet the ground faster. Be careful, everyone. Yes. <laughs> right? Easy, right? Yeah. Yeah. So, higher belts do both sides, right? It should be like, you should be moving like butter, as they say, right? Hands, yes. So smooth, everyone. Spiral down. Okay, put all six. Six. So, six is 
is like four, right? This inside strike. But look at the difference. Four, right? Six, I want to catch it early, right? So what does that mean? It means I want to, I don't even get a chance to, I want to step in early. So a couple of things happening. Right? Head, right? Because where the head goes, the body goes. If you can control the head, game over. Right? So head, hand, and I just walk through. Right now, be careful because she can kick. So what I usually do is the finishing strike and then take the knife, right? So let's do it from this side. So this requires you to be faster in. <laughs> so the entrance is 90% of the work. So let me show you something like a clock. So, so, so 11, 12, as soon as it hits one, she has now gravity, right? So it's too late. So it has to come before the arc starts coming down before it hits the top and then like a millisecond is going to, the energy, right? Gravity is going to win. So I have to get her before, see that? And then I grab, extend, separate, separate church and state, right? <laughs> and walk back. And then you should finish and different finishes. So that's the, the, the tough thing about the pandemic. We haven't had hands on different size people, et cetera. That's why knowing the basics, you should be able to do this with everyone to some degree. Okay, number six. So get you, get it early. Yes. <laughs> nice. Nice. And also watch others, you know, because you also learn stuff by watching. Right, so footwork, footwork. So if you don't have this entry, uh, Olivia, just practice one to four, right? One to five, sorry, one to five is really basic, but really important. Those are the basics. Okay, seven. Okay, put it all, seven. So six is just like four, but early seven, right? Five is I have to go in, right? Seven, I try, I get caught. I'm, I get caught, like I was saying, you know, my footwork isn't so good. Right? And so I slide down. So we used to say five, two, you know, and then people started doing this. Uh, reverse, it's actually not. It's not this. It's actually here, slide down, and then two, right? So this is the initial, looks like five, right? But, and then slide down, and then to finish with two. Okay, so number seven. So instead of stopping, just go straight down to grabbing the hand, right? But forward, out of the way. Imagine me coming at you. So just, you wanna, put all. So I think this is nice, but you actually, you want to not even have them realize what's happening because Danielle, you know, is, is pretty strong. So she kind of was like, a, oh, right. But I don't even want that because I want to be, she want to be like, oh, she, she recalibrates. And then all of a sudden, I don't know what's going on, right? Whoever's worked with Savannah, have you been like, all of a sudden you're, you're on your back and looking at the ceiling, like when he's done techniques on you, <laughs> you know, that's what it should be. It should be like so seamless. Oh, this is not working right into the next, right? So, oh, five not working right into two. Understand? That's how seamless your transitions should be, ideally. Okay, moving on, number eight. Number eight, right? So, stepping inside. Okay, let's go here. Okay. Stepping inside, up, right? Could be up, could be down. But I see a lot of people do this, they catch it. I'm just bring it close so we can see, right? So, stepping inside, they catch it. But watch, she goes fast. Broken thumb, right? The last thing you want is a broken thumb. So, boom, right? I pass it through. Ooh, look, I stabbed her. I stabbed her. She stabbed herself. So this is the thing. If you catch it, you don't want. You want to actually redirect. I'm gonna go back here. So watch. So eight, but I redirect. So it's not about to. I think he's actually talked about like someone trying to do that, and he knew someone who the attacker then cut up their forearm. 200 stitches, right? So you want to actually control it, right? And then 
step through quick horse stance, quick front stance, and then bring down. Okay, let's do it here so they can see. So 45 degrees, control it. Now I want to grab it. I don't want to stop it here, right? Trajectory, because this is going down and she could turn it and stab me. So I want to redirect it to where I control it. Horse stance, and then actually this, let's see, right? So I should do it from here. So one, two, three, Okay. <laughs> okay, so from here, then here, and she she can extend, right? But I have, remember my arm, not bent. Extension is where I'm the strongest. And then she can cut herself, right? Finish. Okay, number eight. So step inside and redirect it. Black belt do both sides and lower belts just review one to one to five. Oh, uh, oh, uh, Elizabeth, I think you do that again. I think you have four. Okay. I think before you accept the other foot. Oh, I like that. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. But oh. Okay, number nine. These are a little bit esoteric if you haven't done them in a while. Oh, well, not with someone. So number eight was to the inside, right? Number nine is to the outside, right? So number nine is, I'm not going to lie, one of the harder ones. Like there's some things that are more, I think, natural, you know? But number nine is, because watch. If she's coming fast, see how fast, how close we have to be. Okay, so she's not going fast. <laughs> if, if I'm doing this and I don't have the right energy, she can cut my wrist, but she's also, she's coming down, she can stab my thigh. You see that? So think of her trajectory. She's coming down, and so, right? So what I learned, what was really interesting was talking to Sabu, asking about it, is if she's coming down, I actually redirect slightly off. So see, she's coming down in a circle. I kind of, I turn, I just move her slightly and then grab and... So she's coming down. I push it slightly off. Now grab and turn the knife away from me because that's the danger. Right, this, she can stab me. So I need to grab and turn it away and then continue the energy down. Okay. So think of, so let's do the footwork together. So in, slightly move, move the out of the way and then grab, turn it over and then the right foot and right hand moves back together. Okay, so try that for number nine. Ten. But oh, my favorite hilarious one. So watch, it's the, this. So this can be a strike, yes, right? Like this can be a strike, so yes, you duck. But this also could be a wind-up, so move back, right? So this could be a wind-up, right? So I don't have to duck, but I see, what I see a lot of people do, go ahead, wind up. Like they're ducking for no reason, right? So make sure you understand what you're doing. If it's super close, absolutely duck. But if it's far and she's just winding up, I don't have to duck, right? You're wasting time. So go ahead, go far away. I just have to come in. And remember, what's dangerous is the knife. So I wanna go, let's go really slow. So she's coming in, she's, so I have to get to this shoulder, okay? The opposite shoulder, and then control, see the trajectory, just control it. And it looks like I'm going here, nope, right? 
So I also know in the old days, a lot of us learned it like this, right? So we come around, we grab the dobak and pull. But what happens if there's no dobak? If there's just skin or like this, I can't grab the dobak, right? I barely can get that. So what I do is I cut her down to size. She thinks I'm going this way. Oh no, I'm reversing it. Right, and then take the knife. So I think the key is, let's do it from this angle, is I wanna, I don't have to duck, I have to just slide in. Coming around, right? And then reversing, because this is the thing. Her mind, her body is getting ready to go here. So I wanna beat her to the punch, taking her backwards, right? So it's kind of like, uh, uh. <laughs> like, oh, you think you're going? No way, go the other way. Okay, so try that, number 10. So you want me to blow. Okay, put on. So I noticed that so Danielle had actually brought her entry was so good, like you know, it was already here. If she's already here, just keep going. Understand? So it's almost like this is for like I just wanna a little bit, but she's a little bit off balance, but she's gonna stand up. She's like, oh, I'm not really off balance. I'm gonna stand up, but I wanna beat her to the punch. You understand? So, so that's kind of like, it's a feel thing. And the more you do it in person, the easier it is, right? Okay? So if it's already down here, you're already almost all the way down, so just go down. But this is the almost there and then reverse, okay? So number 10. Okay. It's fine to meet you know, like, you know, you know, you know, So the thing is, uh, but she was like, also, you know, just have to Okay, put all. I also notice, put all. So watch, so 10 is tempting to want to do this, right? But what if you can't reach it? So there's also that thing here. See, all I do is press lightly. So practice that. So it's down and then press, right? And she's like, oh, get me away from that painful neck thing, right? So make sure you, you really focus on that because like, she was trying to pull me down, which works because we're kind of the same way, but you can't pull one of the guys down, right? You can't force it. Okay, so last 20 seconds, number 10. The, the arm should be higher, Pete, the one that's not holding the wrist because you're, you're pulling, you're doing this because your, your hand is like really close to each other. Okay, put all. Okay, last one. Well, actually, I know someone's working on variations, so I felt like one to ten. I think we'll, we could do uh, everyone could always practice the basics. Number 11, I'll give you a couple of variations. So 11, right? So 11, actually the hands are down, right? So, so actually, no, this is 11. No, that's true. <laughs> so I've been doing this for how many, how many decades? Right, so watch. So if you do it correctly, this, 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 you can, all of them, right? This, you do it correctly. This is, it's all the same thing. But if you don't do it correctly, you know, you, you won't be able to use it. So the most important thing is that the, it cuts like this, right? This is how people cut, they don't usually cut that way, so they cut across, right? So, you can hold hold it. I think basic 11 is what, without it, right? And then, so we'll just do B. So this is 11A, 
This is 11B. This is 11C. D, right? So all these variations. So we'll just do 11B, right? So I don't want to hear, because the minute she sees this moving, she's going to cut, right? So I don't want the hands up. So I want to come. So can you see this hand? So watch. So I keep it up. I move, she cuts, right? So 11, I want it underneath, right? So I'm stepping, right? And I, I trap it. I trap it from sliding because that's the most dangerous thing, right? So I also get out of the way, down, right? Am I forgetting anything? <laughs> I've not done 11 in so long. So from here, the hands are down and I move and I kind of stop it, but I don't hear where, he, where she can see it. I want to come underneath where she can't really see it. So down, right, and then finish. Oh, arm bar. <laughs> so from here, so from here, down, right? So from here, oh, I think that's 11D is the, the E. So from here, all the way down. No, because there's one that you catch before you even, the final one is this one. Anyway, there's, there's like G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G for number 11. So from here, so from, I start low and I press down, okay? So watch, it's, it's okay, she can bend her arm, right? So I wanna kinda tuck it tight and step through. So I don't think you can see, so we'll do one more here. Let's do C, right? So that's the thing, if you were doing the incorrect way, it's obviously going to be too big like this, you can't get out of that. Here, right, the energy, so you just step back and same thing. It's even easier to do the arm bar, right? And just slide forward, right? Okay, so 11, just do 11A, yeah. or oh, 11B with the arm holding. <laughs> so be careful about being right on the elbow. Okay. So you know why? Because it actually you can hurt the person, but actually if they're really strong, they can actually bend out of it. If I go higher, I control it better. So actually come here. So if I'm on top of the elbow, bend the elbow, right? But if I'm a little higher, now bend it. Because I have, it's basically goo. See the, this and this pressing in. So bend it, right? So, so I want it higher on the. All right. Double. I want to show them. Turn around. So see, this was too low, a little bit higher, more control, and now step that way. Yes. Okay. <laughs> okay. So that should be uh, good for all of them. Okay. So make sure you extend the arm. Okay. So Jaren, you actually circled. I see sometimes people circle. Actually, let's do this. Sometimes people circle, right? So look, her energy is great. You are circling. I actually wanna, I wanna extend her out away from her back. You see that? See that? You were circling. So this is one time when you want to extend the string. Okay, put a... Okay, face your partner. Ready up. Okay. And knife down or virtual knife down or invisible knife down. Okay, and shake it out. You can clean it after class. Put all the knives in and then... And I'm going to do five set and eight key because people always confuse it. So five set. So this is set one or set zero. I call it set one. Just holding the ball of energy, right? Like a garden hose, extension energy, right? 
fingers pointing up, holding it. And make sure if you're in a horse stance, your toes are forward, they're not out, the energy training, right? So, and number one, so bring it in and out. So same thing, elbows relaxed, shoulders relaxed. This is set, this is set two. Zero, uh, sorry, one was the holding, and this is set. Set three, palms up, circle, and then extend straight. Circle, straight. Circle, and then like a light hand. Number four, you can do index finger down, or pinky down, or you're circling down and out, so four. So these are eight, these are the five set key exercises. So you can just choose to do one, right? Tuesday, do day, do two. Right? Okay, number five, up. Palms come really close, you can almost feel the energy. And circle down, then you're still facing each other. Up, facing away, down. Take a moment to look up. Down. So that's five set. Okay, eight step, right? So you can go inhale, exhale, sitting, inhale, gather in, and exhale. Inhale up and exhale down. Inhale, circle up and exhale down. And one more time, inhale, exhale, inhale. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, and right leg in, and exhale. We're gonna do a quick one minute meditation. So you can sit, you can stand, it's gonna be a short one. But since most of you are at home, you can close your eyes, you feel safe. Eyes closed, body relaxed. Forehead, cheeks, lips, tongue, and swallow. And relax the back of the head. Relax the neck and the shoulders. Relaxing upper back, mid back, lower back. Relaxing arms, palms, fingertips. Relaxing chest muscles, solar plexus, stomach, groin, buttocks. Relaxing. Back of thighs, front of thighs, relaxing knees, calves, ankles, both feet, and all the toes. As you inhale and exhale, allow your body and mind to become totally relaxed. As you inhale, let your stomach become big, take in air, and exhale, breathe it in. While you're there, think of three things you're grateful for. It could be something small, it could be something big. And taking one more deep breath. And exhale it out. Slowly open eyes. And inhaling your hands up. If you're sitting, you can sit up. And hands down one more time. Inhale up and down. And shake it out. Hand on your feet. It's been a pleasure teaching you. Face forward. Adios. Yeah. Yeah. Face uh, Blackouts on the screen. Hurry up. Hurry up. Facing high rank. Hurry up. Hurry up. Facing blackouts off the mat. Hurry up. Hurry up. Who's the senior? Facing seniors. Hurry up. Hurry up. Facing Kyosunim. Hurry up. Hurry up. Facing Salvanim. Hurry up. It's like old days where there's a lot of people about to. Okay, great job, everyone. Thank you. Thank you.